Yes, sir. I got her pictures all over the place. I got a baby picture there and there are other pictures and that one back there. And I got those pictures there. I miss her. It won't bring back his baby girl, but today there is some closure for this family and three others here in Oregon as they finally learn of a suspect or a person of interest in the deaths of their children. Welcome to Coin Local 6 at noon. I'm Amy Troy. Thanks for joining us. The suspect is Bobby Jack Fowler. He went to prison back in 1995 for a violent attack and an attempted rape on the coast. Now there's new evidence investigators say links him to four murders in Oregon and more than a dozen in the Northwest. Coin Local 6 reporter Chad Carter is following developments and joins us with the latest. Chad? Well, Amy, Bobby Jack Fowler died of lung cancer while serving a 16 year prison sentence for that attempted rape on the coast. He was 66 years old at the time. His death will spare the families of the teenage girls prosecutors believe he killed from reliving the pain of their loss in court. Fowler, though, is a person of interest in the killings of 19 year old Sheila Swanson and 17-year-old Melissa Sanders in October of 1992. They were last seen near Beverly Beach, and their bodies were later found in a wooded area near Eddyville. Four months later, the bodies of Jennifer Essen and Kara Lees were found in a wooded area near Newport. Now, they were both 16 and had been missing from Newport for a couple of weeks at the time. Fowler is a suspect in their deaths. We spoke with Jennifer's father for a story on her unsolved murder earlier this year, and at that time, he had his own theory about what happened. All right, well, he says that he believed at the time a drug dealer may have played a role in her disappearance. Now, a volunteer investigator with the Lincoln County District Attorney's Office spoke at a news conference on this specific case in British Columbia just a few minutes ago. He's now asking for the public's help trying to retrace Fowler's steps through Oregon in the early 90s. He wants to hear from anyone who may recognize him. The break in this case actually comes from Canada, where police found DNA that implicates Fowler in the 1974 killing of a 16 year old girl there. Now, detectives don't have a positive match just yet linking Fowler's DNA to the killings here in Oregon, but they recently submitted the evidence for testing, and we, of course, will keep you posted. Amy, back to you.